I'm going to demonstrate the process of creating a X3D file from an initial CAD model. And it's going to take the workflow of starting with a step model, use a commercial CAD CAM program to convert it to a vermal file, and then use a separate program to convert the vermal file to an XML encoded X3D file. This picture shows the, the part that we're going to create an X3D scene from. It's a connector. It has a, a copper body, but parts of it are silver plated. And we're going to try to reproduce that coloring as well as it can in the visualization. So we'll start with our initial step file. The program I'm going to use to convert it from step to a vermal file is Ashlar Vellum Argon, a solid modeling program. It imports many file formats, including step. So step is chosen. And there we see our imported step model. This is pretty common in CAD models that the files get exported as a single solid. And because of that, it just has a single uniform color. So we're going to edit the, the color using the CAD program before exporting the vermal. And we want to do is change the color of this connecting plate and this mounting block. We'll change the color to white and then using X3D appearance nodes, try to make it look more silver metallic in the final scene. Because it was saved as a single solid model, we, don't, we, we can't change individual face colors yet. We have to change the model type. In, in, in Argon, that's the edit object command. In Argon, that's the change object type command. We want it to be a collection of surfaces. And now looking at the model, we can select individual surfaces and change their color to white. It appears gray with the lighting this model has. If I just change the, just change the front, I'll change one or two more. And now it's just a process of going entirely around the model and change those faces that should be eventually have a silver plated color with reference to that image I showed earlier. I'll skip ahead to that final step. So this is our model now with the uh, silver plated faces colored white. I'm going to now export it. Well, first I'm going to save it in Argon native format in case something goes wrong with the export. I can easily get this back. So I'll save as a colored block in the native Argon format. And that's just in case I have a problem with the export, I can easily retrieve my work. Now I'll do the export feature. Our Ashlar Vellum Argon offers several export formats. Unfortunately, does not yet offer X3D XML encoding format, but there is WRL, which is for Vermal. And we want Vermal 2.0, which is the immediate process predecessor of the X3D format. And it is possible to make very reliable conversions between Vermal 2 and X3D. I'll choose a Unix style line endings. That doesn't really make much difference anymore. And we'll call this power block WRL. I can close out my program. And 
and here's my Vermal model on the desktop. The next step is going to be changing this file to an XML encoded X3D. Now, several content authors prefer working with the Vermal format because they believe it's easier to edit. And I will show this file in a text editor. This is the typical Vermal output format. And it is actually, it's, it's structured quite well for editing with a text editor. There's not a lot of extra information. I'm going to, I personally, I prefer the XML encoding because I'm able to use a lot of tools designed for XML files. But again, many authors would do the uh, coloring of the faces using this uh, text file format rather than the XML encoding. A program which is very useful for this conversion from Vermal to X3D is the View 3D Scene X3D browser. It opens it directly as a WRL or Vermal file. And we can do a quick check. And now I'll use the Save As uh, X3D Classic Encoding even points out it converts Vermal to X3D. Save as X3D XML encoding. And now just for reference, we can look at it, the text output in a text editor of the XML encoding. And there we have it. it's it's a it's a standard conforming XML file. It's exactly the same information, both as the geometry and color, is just in an XML format. And it is true that the XML encoding is a little trickier to edit by hand because we've got to make sure all the XML syntax rules are followed in terms of opening and closing elements directly. But our next step was going to be to add coloring, lighting, and navigation to this file.